Um, I'm Jerry Rogers, and um, this is my friend Steve Drummond. We worked together in radio broadcasting back in the 60s and 70s um, here in Odessa and also in Midland. Um, the things I remember, Steve, about radio back then, it was just fun. Oh, God, yeah. I was just yeah. having so much fun. Yeah, I think we would have done it for nothing. In fact, I did it for nothing for the first few years. Yeah. Uh, when they hired me, uh, they couldn't legally pay me because of the minimum wage law. And so I think I got a guitar or something out of it uh, yeah. the first few years I, I worked at KJBC. But it was, it was a lot of fun. Met a lot of great people. Uh, made a lot of lasting friendships that have, that have lasted over the years. Well, the music, I remember I, uh, in junior high, I just fell in love with radio and the music back then. Uh, it was just kind of innocent. It was all about love and um, the diamonds, little darling, and it, you know, it's just uh, you didn't have to worry about what the lyrics were right. going to say when you put a song on the air. And um, then being in radio, um, I go back to that. I just enjoyed it so much. And, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, and uh, the opportunity to to be in situations you never would have otherwise, to meet a lot of famous people. Like I got to interview uh, Roy Arbison and meet Elvis Presley. And later years when I got into news, uh, you know, come face to face with people running for president or governors or senators and something, you know, you, you probably wouldn't have encountered in, uh, in any other line of work. Well, one, one of my memories of KOSA, um, the Beach Boys were coming to town and um, this was probably mid to late 60s and they came by KOSA radio and uh, of course we were all excited just uh, I was wanting to interview them and we had a, a production room with all the old music in it and they were so enthralled with going through those old <laughs> records we had old 78s and of course hundreds probably thousands of old 45s and uh, it, we you know, it was a young disc jockey. I was just in awe of those guys anyway. And that, that was a, a real good memory. But radio's changed so much. It was live and personal back then. Yeah. Uh, people could call up and talk to the guy on the air. Right, yeah. Know. Yeah, we got to be friends with a lot of our listeners. It was, yeah. That was great. And, uh, you know, Top 40 basically was rock and roll, but it was, it was varied. You know, I can remember we might play Buck Owens, then we might play Madhavani or... Uh, you know, there was just a wide variety of music that made Top 40 in those days that made it very interesting. Well, there were some uh, songs that were they, what they call crossovers. Uh -huh. um, Hank Lachlan had a song, Please Help Me, I'm right, Fallen, yeah. and we mm -hmm. played it on KOSA, a, a Top 40 uh, rock and roll radio station. I thought I'd never see that, but it got to be so popular, we mm -hmm. just uh, we played it. So. Whatever the public wanted to hear, you know, it was really popular. I also think there was a window there. Uh, radio was very structured before Top 40, you know, it was network. I think even KOSA had just probably recently switched from Top 40 uh, from the network where they played the soap opera shows, very structured. And uh, there was a lot of spontaneity in Top 40, you know, we, we pretty well had freedom, I mean, within bounds to do what we wanted to. But now it seems like it's gone back to where it's very structured. Uh, you know, in fact, it's very seldom now there's a, a live DJ, uh, a local DJ, other than maybe the morning drive. Right, right. Well, it was it was a fun time, and I miss it, uh, but it's never going to come back. You right. Know, the good old days. But it was, it was just a fun time, and I have a lot of fond memories. Me too.